Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks. And this is the Tech Travel Geeks setup video for the Honor Magic 5 Pro. If you haven't already, you can watch the actual unboxing where we take the Honor Magic 5 Pro out of its UK retail packaging. Uh, it's already live on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. But today, as I said, we're going to set up this uh, beast of a phone as one of our commentators recently referred to it. Right, at the bottom of the phone, with the screen facing you, you'll be able to see there is a SIM tray. The important thing here is to make sure you put your SIM ejector tool, which in this case is a metal one for me, you put it in the actual hole in the tray, not the one next to it. This is a bit of a confusing design thing that we've seen before on Huawei and other devices, where one of the microphone holes is right next to the SIM tray, and if you're in a rush or you're not paying attention, you may actually put your, your uh, SIM ejector tool down the microphone hole and cause some damage. But that's just me. So I'm going to use this SIM ejector tool to open the tray and see what it takes. Now, this is a UK retail unit of the Honor Magic 5 Pro. It has been sent to us for review purposes. And as you can see, the SIM tray takes one nano SIM on one side and one nano SIM on the other. So it actually takes two nano SIMs. So that's good news. So I'm going to take my nano SIM and pop it into the tray. This is a smarty SIM. Great, it's in place. Now we just need to put the SIM back in with the hole aligned with the hole on the tray itself. So that shouldn't be too difficult. Great, done. It fits snugly, it's smooth at the bottom. Now we can start off by switching on the phone. I'm going to do that by long pressing the power button on the side of the device, just below the volume rocker. And I'm getting a little bit of haptic feedback. And Honor, powered by Android. So this is a lovely AMOLED screen, or OLED screen, depending on how you prefer to be pedantic about it. Yes, I know, it's not an AMOLED screen. It's, uh, it's an LTPO OLED screen. And here we have a white screen with Magic OS, quick hello from Magic OS. And now we're being told to choose our language. Obviously, I'm going to go with English. Let's get started. Now, of these locations, I'm going to select United Kingdom. Now, terms of service, we trust Honor, we've set up multiple devices with them, and we are happy with their statement about service. Next up, I'm going to connect the Honor Magic 5 Pro to my Wi-Fi network. Okay then, so now I'm connected to Wi-Fi, the device is connected to the internet, we can get the phone ready. Now, let's see how Magic UI performs on the Honor Magic 5 Pro. Uh, we recently got the update to Honor Magic UI 7 on the Honor Magic 4 Pro, and we'll likely be doing a comparison video soon between the devices. Now, next screen, we get offered the option to copy apps and data over from another device. In this case, I'm not going to do that. I want to set up the Honor Magic 5 Pro as a new smartphone. So it's going to go ahead and check the info that's there. Next up, I'll need to sign in with my Google account. Great, next up, I'll need to do two-step verification to confirm my Google account. Great, now I've confirmed the, the two-step verification. Um, I'll confirm that I also I will be the person using this device. It's great to see Google has now uh, set up parental controls for Google accounts. And if you do wish to, you can set up your account for a child. So next up, the usual Google terms and conditions. I agree to them all. In Google, we trust. Uh, if you've been watching the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel for a while, you know that we've set up many smartphones. And we had already been doing it long before we started here on Tech Travel Geeks on YouTube. Right, I'm going to go ahead with approving all those Google details. Uh, it will essentially 
automatically update services and apps in the background. Now, next up, this is something that you get mainly in Europe on European market devices. You get to choose what the default search engine is for your device as you go forward. You can choose from quite a select selection of providers, including Bing and Ecosia and others, but I'm going to go with Google because, as I said, in Google, I trust. Next up, it's going to suggest we start using Google Assistant. I agree to that. It's particularly useful in quite a few, few situations, including when driving and using Android Auto. And then it's suggesting that we enable Assistant even when your device is locked. And I agree to that as well. So next up, a uh, quick login for your Honor ID. I believe I'm okay with that. Okay then, so apparently there's no way around it. You have to have an Honor ID. And on this review device of the Honor Magic 5 Pro, I was not able to use my Google login as in a login with Google option, I had to use the Honor setup to log in. So not only do you need a Google account, which most people have in uh, Western markets, but you have to have an Honor account. And I just had to reset my password to be able to get in. This included various turns of two-factor authentication to get to that point. Anyway, I'm logged in now. After a bit of frustration with that process, let's set up the fingerprint ID. But before that, I also need to set up a PIN. Okay then, so I've set up a, a six digit PIN uh, and to just annoy some people, I'll call it a PIN number. Let's add our fingerprint. Now, we get a little warning. The accuracy of the fingerprint sensor may be affected if you're using a third party screen protector. Um, you can see that the the fingerprint scanner here is relatively low down on the screen. And just as, as with other flagship devices, this is a very fast optical uh, scanner. It's doing a pretty good job. The haptic feedback is decent. Having said that, the default keyboard on the device is Microsoft SwiftKey. And I had no haptic feedback with that. So it's nice to feel the haptic feedback engine on the Honor Magic 5 Pro doing a decent job. Great, uh, let's set up face recognition. I'm going to have to move my microphone cable before we do that. So the Honor Magic 5 Pro has a uh, similar to Face ID setup uh, with more than one sensor in place. I'm going to have to enter my, my pin. There we go. So it's advising on how to to get this to work, you need to look around so it creates a 3D image of your face. And it's going to guide me so that I look up and round and up. And it says to lower my head a little bit. And there we go. So slowly turn your head. There we go. So it does need to get a bit of a round view of your face, but once it does, it's good. And now it's suggesting that Magic UI provides enhanced services. Yep, let's enable all services. We're all in here. We've got a Google account, we've got an Honor account. Essentially, we have redundant backups, both in the US and in this case, China. So all I need to do is a freedom of information request in a few years time, and I'll be able to get all my data back. Anyway, new navigation features. This is something that we've seen before on Honor devices, but by default, they seem to be pushing you to gesture navigation. You'll see that it suggests we go with left screen uh, to go and right screen to go back. So swipe in from the edges to go back. Go back to the home screen by swiping up. Swiping and holding will give you your multitasking. That's great. So. All good. I'm comfortable with gesture navigation. I'll use this. If you think that you're frustrated by gesture navigation and you'd like to see a tutorial video on how to switch gesture navigation off or on, 
leave us a comment in the section below and we'll make that dedicated video just for you. So here we are, we're in the Honor Magic 5 Pro. So first things, it's by default without an app drawer. It's very iPhone-like in that you swipe up to get things. But um, I have to say the Honor uh, Magic UI 7 has organized things a bit more tidily into folders here. So you've got a folder with tools, as you can see, and you've got large folders so that you can see the icons that are in there. So good to see that in place straight away. But by default, if I swipe up from the bottom, in most Android distributions, including Google's own Pixel one, you'd have an app drawer. You don't have that here in the Honor Magic 5 Pro. If we slight, go to the far left though, yes, we do get uh, the Google feed, which is great to see, even in the Honor launcher. So that is quite a useful thing. Um, I found quite a few interesting articles in the Google feed, as well as essential score, sports scores, including England versus Australia in the crickets, Norway versus Scotland in the football, these crazy sports balls. Anyway, here we are, we're in the device. Uh, I'm not happy with a uh, new app drawer. I understand that Honor are catering uh, to people who are switching from Apple iPhones, uh, and therefore that's why the default is a simple app drawerless experience. But I'm not entirely comfortable with that. So let's open up the settings. Go to system navigation, And I'm going to go with, oh, this is system navigation. It's not that I need to go to uh, home screen settings. Home screen style, here we go. We've got the drawer. So we'll keep gesture navigation for now, but now we have an app drawer with all our pre-installed apps and how it's set up. Now, great of honor to not have too much spam in place. We'll just see what sort of things are in the Google Play Store that already need to be updated. So there's 29 apps requiring update, mostly Google apps, but also some pre-installed ones like WPS Office, Booking.com, Trip.com. Full disclosure, I used to be an employee of a subsidiary of Trip.com and our chief aperture officer still is. Uh, no shade thrown, but I'm going to uninstall Trip.com just to prove that you can do so. But before we do that, we'll let the apps update and the setup continue. Let's go and see uh, another few things in settings. Obviously this lovely OLED screen is beautiful. There are a few settings that we can set, play around with and maybe tweak. So first thing to do is display and brightness. Now, I prefer dark mode. I'll switch to dark mode now. By default, everything is black. The advantage here is that Every dot on the screen that isn't white, that's black, is actually off. So this should improve your battery life. So we're going to keep that on, automatic brightness, automatic everything. I'm going to scroll down, uh, color mode and temperature, screen resolution. So by default, this is on smart resolution, which will automatically lower screen resolution to save power. but because the Honor Magic 5 Pro has such a lovely high resolution screen, you can set it to always be at 2848 pixel, pixels by 1312. Or you can lower it to a standard resolution, which is closer to full HD+, but actually higher. It's 2492 by 1148. Or you can go to low resolution, which is more or less the equivalent of HD. Just a moment which is uh, 2136 by 984. But we're going to ignore that. We're going to keep it on smart resolution and let Magic UI do its thing. So frame rate booster, uh, screen refresh rate, here we go. So we're going to keep it dynamic, which means it will balance smoothness and battery life with a maximum refresh rate of 120 hertz. Um, if you want to keep it on high, you can do so, but I'll leave it as dynamic. And you can go from 60 to 90 to 120 hertz and let Magic UI do its thing. So great. Those things have been set. Right. Let's have a look at another thing. Uh, 
keyboard, by default, you have, in this case, Microsoft Swift Key keyboard. It's a decent keyboard, it works well. Um, I personally don't like it that much. We don't have another option here because that's the only one that's pre-installed. And that's fair enough, it's, I, I would say it's right for Honor to have that product decision making capacity. But in my case, I prefer one called Gboard, which is by Google. I just find it easier to type on and to have better spacing in the, in the keyboard. And we've also had some people uh, complain about devices with Microsoft's SwiftKey pre-installed, saying that the spacing doesn't feel right and they keep on making mistakes. So little tip there, maybe this is a way for you to, to get that fixed. So 10 updates in progress. We're doing well here. Uh, the Google Play apps are installing. One thing we didn't look at was the actual system update. Is there an operating system update as the device comes out of the box? And yes, there is. So as you can see, the Honor Magic 5 Pro comes with Magic OS 7.1 pre-installed, but there's already a new update, which Oh, it's updates complete. So we could restart the device now and we'd have the latest version of Magic UI in place. But we'll just wait a moment, wait till these, uh, till these updates happen in the background and then move on to, to do the system restart. But whilst that's happening, let's go into the app drawer and look at some of the pre-installed apps. Now, obviously we said WPS Office is pre-installed. I personally prefer Google Drive apps or even Microsoft apps in that context. So I'm going to long press on WPS Office. You just click uninstall. And then you get a prompt asking you, do you want to uninstall this app? Okay, done. That's how simple it is to uninstall pre-installed apps. So I know a lot of people don't like bloatware on their smartphones, but I think this is a good in-between. It gives the people who do want to use those apps an opportunity to not have the hassle to install them. It also gives Honor a chance to make some money out of you. Uh, not that they're making that much out of the sale of the smartphone. So I'm going to uninstall trip.com. How long does that take? Much longer, apparently. There we go. Uninstall trip.com. And also TrainPal. Who uses TrainPal? I much prefer the Trainline app. It handles my tickets uh, very gracefully. And for when I do commute to Edinburgh, it's very, very handy to use my smartphone as my train ticket. Okay, so we've uninstalled those two apps. We have a notification here, Gboard is installing. Great, done, that was fast. That was very fast. That, I would say that's possibly one of the fastest uh, app update, pre-installed app update runs that I've seen on a smartphone in the last few years. And that includes Google Pixel Pro devices. So well done, Honor. How much credit goes to Honor and how much credit goes to Qualcomm, the makers of the Snapdragon uh, Gen 2 chip that is in this smartphone, I don't know, but that was a really fast experience. Which means we can go back to the system and updates, software update, and just restart our phone. Wow, that was quite, a smooth experience as far as, as smartphone setups go, apart from the fact that you're forced to use an Honor account. I found no way around the fact that you have to have an Honor account to set this phone up. Uh, in terms of ergonomics, the Honor Magic 5 Pro does feel a bit top heavy. This bulgy camera module, which we'll go into in depth in maybe a dedicated video, and definitely in our long-term review, is apparently great, it's very powerful. But in terms of how you hold your phone, you can definitely feel it. It'll be interesting to see how the Honor Magic 5 Pro performs with cases on it. We'll probably get a few here at Tech Travel Geeks and let you know. But in the meantime, here's the Honor Magic 5 Pro starting up. Let's see how long it takes. And then how I unlock it. There we go, I need to enter my pin. There we go, we get the basic service statement again. 
and we're back. Good news, it saved my preferences in terms of, uh, in terms of, of uh, the dark mode. Nothing seems to have broken with that update. It's always a possibility, you never know. So next thing I'm going to do is go to the Play Store. Just make sure that everything's in place. Oh, it's updating Microsoft SwiftKey. It's now called Microsoft SwiftKey AI Keyboard. Great. So everything's updating in the background, but I did want to search for G... Oh, okay. Honor search. I hadn't set this up. Gboard. Here we go. So this is the app I prefer. Let's enable it in keyboard settings. Gboard. Okay. Let's switch off Microsoft AI keyboard. We're selecting Gboard. Done. Great. So we're now in the settings to Gboard. Few things that I want to set up. Preferences. No sound on key press. I'm not a big fan of haptic key feedback, but I'll leave that on. It's a good test of the haptic feedback in general. Let's have a look at the theme. By default, dynamic color. It adapts to your system. Uh, glide typing. I do want to disable that because I don't use it. Uh, after glide typing, let's go to languages. I do like to have my Italian keyboard. Search for Italian. Okay, great. So I've got my two keyboards in place. That's a lot better. Now the usual setup of apps I use. So let's start in alphabetical order with Amazon. So I'm going to install Amazon Shopping. And then it suggests I install the Disney Plus app. Yep. I'm going to be watching some video on here, putting the lovely screen, which I have to say is very nice on the Magic 5 Pro through its bases. The same with Amazon Prime Video. TikTok, it's already installed, it's already updated. Instagram, there we go. Let's install Instagram. And that means we'll probably need to install the other Facebook apps. So, Facebook. A lot more comfortable typing on Gboard. So it's already pre-installed. Not There's no need to set it up. So let's go with my Google saved password. So I'm going to skip access to contacts, skip that, skip that. So I'll allow location whilst using the app. There we go. Great. So that's some of the apps that I'm going to be using set up. Uh, I will put the device through its paces over the next few weeks. If you have any questions or you'd like to know more, uh, about how I get on with the Honor Magic 5 Pro, especially that triple 50 megapixel camera setup, do leave us a note in the comments with your questions. We'll do our best to address those in our continuing coverage of the Honor Magic 5 Pro. But for now, I'm going to go off and edit this uh, surprisingly long setup, uh, which wasn't as painful as I was expecting. And... Uh, Thank you for watching if you made it this far. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. We cover consumer electronics, gadgets, accessories, pretty much anything else we think makes the travel experience better. And as usual, smartphones, and especially good camera smartphones, make a big difference. Here I've got the Honor Magic 4 Pro from last year, which will do a side-by-side -side comparison with the Honor Magic 5 Pro in a future video. Anyway, I'll stop rambling on. Thanks for watching if you made it this far, and goodbye from me.